Last ones in Allen County, but now students in Southwest Allen County are back in school. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson is live in Studio 15 with a district wrap up. As all the buses and students arrived at school today in Southwest Allen County, it was business as usual, but the district is facing a few changes this year. Buses are hitting the Southwest Allen County roads for another school year. When the buses have its stop arms out at an intersection, all lanes must stop. One change to the roads, construction on State Road 14, and the school district is in almost daily contact with the construction company. They have to cl close roads, they have to cl close drives, and we just be patient, reroute, and take our time. It's going to be a great improvement when it's done. Southwest Allen County Schools is also starting the year with a balanced budget. Last year we went through a $1.3 million uh, budget cut, and uh, it did make a difference in our budget, and we're starting to see that it is balanced. The district had a busy spring of getting a referendum passed to increase taxes and save teachers. Had we not passed that, we would have been looking at, at nearly uh, a three million more dollars of budget cuts um, in the next year or so. Um, that would have been devastating to this school corporation as staffing levels would have definitely decreased. New to SACS this year, Superintendent Dr. Steve Yeager. He took the job in July after 19 years in the same position at Northwest Allen County Schools. Well, the transition has been terrific. Uh, students are very similar in both districts. Yeager says he's not planning any changes for the district yet. My first job is to come in and listen and learn and watch and see what's going on and and, and offer advice and also receive advice. And the superintendent's advice on the first day of school? Well, students, just go in and enjoy the day and, and get to know your classmates and, and uh, come in ready to be challenged. Uh, I would say to parents, uh, if you're dropping kids off, be prepared to drive into a traffic jam because that's just the way it is around schools. In Fort Wayne, Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15.